Hey guys, my name is Moon, and welcome back for more Yakuza 4. So today we're going to be doing some sub-stories on Saijima's chapter, so uh, yes, let's begin. So there's this big one here. Let's check this out. Oops, sorry. He's, he stole some money from me. That kind of place I'd expect to see kids running around. I told you, it's gone. That's a classic... Kids bumping into you, stealing your money. Hey, wait, that, that brat swiped my money. Hey, hey, get back here, sir. Where is he? Hmm, did a kid bid pickpocket run through here? Oh, yeah. Good question, but I'll need a little something before I give you an answer. I say a crisp bill? Eh beat the answer out of him i mean we could do that right let's see <laughs> oh. okay he wants money i thought we we're gonna actually fight him thousand yen if it's the dash you're looking for he ran off to the underground parking lot parking lot okay Ooh, we're here. Okay, let's find him. Hmm. Oh, we can do this. Essence. I don't know, essence. Revelation, I mean. What is he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna burn him. <laughs> See, how is this a revelation, though? What do we get from this one? He just pretty much crashed his car. Yeah, he just crashed his car, basically. <laughs> yeah, he slammed straight into the wall. Oh. How big a side gym is old school, right? He doesn't have a phone. Thinking Jesus. <laughs> he broke his neck. Okay, let's see. So we did one, right? Let's see if the sculptures are going to be different every time we get a revelation. We're going to find out. Okay, so let's find the kid now. Where is he? Here he is. Three, four, five. That big guy sure was slim pickings. I'll be taking back the cash you stole, kid. What the? Hey, can you prove this money is yours? Easy now. Didn't your old man ever teach you not to take what don't belong to you? Shut up. I don't have a dad. Come here a second. So, oh, we brought him to Kido's hideout. So what's your name? Tadashi. Tadashi Inoue. Alright, Tadashi. What's a kid like you doing in a place like this? What happened to your folks? My mom and dad died in a car crash two years ago. So you're all on your own? Mm. Nah. -uh. Hmm? I have a sister. My big sister, Akiko. So, but you don't live with her. <laughs> she... A debt collector took her away from my dad's debts. The man called her collateral. After mom and dad died, we were supposed to go to an orphanage. But they said as long as we still had relatives, we couldn't. So me and my sister went to live with my uncle's family in the country. So how did your sister take uh, got taken away? Stop. My uncle might have been a relative, but he's no family. He and his wife sold Akiko to a debt collector. Jeez, what kind of what kind of person, man? Selling a kid. Come on. Wait, what? 
Last year, this man named Tadakoro came up from Tokyo. He told us to pay back the 5 million our dad owned. And they don't have the 5 million and they gave the kid instead. He said if we didn't have enough money and then there and there, he'd take my sister for security. So your uncle just handed her over. Uh-huh. Akiko was, even Akiko said she didn't want to be a burden to my uncle's family anymore. And so you came all the way here to Kamurucha hoping to see or, yeah, set your sister free. I'm saving up the money and then... I gotcha. You know, I've got a sister of my own. Not a big sister like you. I have a little sis. Yeah. Name's Yasuko. She was such a sweet kid. We drifted apart though. You don't ever see her now? Yeah, well, I've been through some stuff myself. So, uh, what's this sister of yours like? Is she a precarious brat like you? My sister's not a brat. She's a brave and kind. She looked after me after her parents died. She's the best big sis ever, and she's the only real family I've got left. You've come a long way, boy. Fought hard on your own, I guess. But you need money to get your sister back, yes? Oh. Yeah, the debt collector said I can either pay back the 5 million yen or I can do whatever jobs it tells me to do. And that's why you've been picking pockets. I'm just a kid, man. Nobody will hire me. Besides, I can do the kind of work he wants me to do. I'm not telling you to stop picking pockets, but... It'd be or it'd take you forever and a day to felch that much cash. I know. So I just gotta make sure, is your sister important to you? Of course, more than anything. I won't give up until I know she's okay. Okay, my folks died when I was a kid too. My sister Yasuko meant the whole world to me. Wasn't nothing I wouldn't do to keep her safe. But I was still a kid. There came a time I was hauled in by the police, beat up by punks, and had to live miles and miles away from her. A big guy like you? But you look so strong. Like I said, I was a boy. I didn't know what strength was. But you know, somebody stepped in to help me and my sis. Thanks to him, me and Yasuko got to live together again. You might say he's the very reason I'm standing here today. And when I tried to thank him, he said, save your thanks. Just grow up to be the kind of person who doesn't look away when someone's in trouble, but who extends a helping hand. He sounds like a nice man. He is, was. I owe him big, and that's why I'm gonna help your sister Tadashi. Or said Tadashi, I'm ready to go up to bat, uh, bat up for you. Really? You mean it? You bet I do. Take me to this debt collector. Me and him, we're gonna have a little talk. You got it, big guy. Alright, Sasai-san. Also, with Sasai-san who saved him, basically. That's why he was... He's so, uh, we'll do anything for him. Okay, time to take what you taught me and pay it forward to the skin. Who's this? No, no, no. I thought it was Champions District. I'm looking for a guy named Tadakoro. Are, is he here? What business do you have with a boss? It's none of yours. I can tell you that. Now, quit being a smartass and answer me. Take a good look at who you're talking to, Gramps. Did I stutter? I ain't here to talk chump change. Now, move out of the way if you don't want to get hurt. Huh? Or are you calling a chump? <laughs> it's the same, man. Look at this NPC. <laughs> no, you dare screw it us. Honestly, the NPCs are always the same, though. It's quite funny. Like, you see them in one place, and then you see them in another, like, sub-story or main story stuff, right? You won't be calling us uh, shit after we kick your teeth in. Enomoto. And I say, oh, he actually tossed me away. I knew it. You're crazy strong, big guy. 
Thanks for noticing. Whoever you are. You're a dead man walking. I'm sure the boss saw everything. So Tadakara's office is in here. I'm going in. Let's break here to break him. Tadakoro! I know you're in here. Show yourself. Yeah, the boss is a very busy man, but we'll gladly listen to whatever you have to say. I already told the boys outside I'm t I'm t I ain't talking to chumps. Get in my way and you're gonna get hurt. And we're gonna fight them. So this office is kind of familiar though. The look of it, I think, yeah. No, I think I saw this already on other Yakuza games. At least, maybe in Yakuza 0? Or maybe Kiwami. I think it's uh, in Yakuza 0 though. When we... Remember when we face a cult in Yakuza 0 with Majima? I think this is... The, yeah, the same office. I mean, Yakuza... Or the Yakuza games has been using like pretty much the same... Same players all the time. I'm just saying. Like, I don't really care if they use the same place. It doesn't matter. Oh. It hurts. It hurts. Told you so. When your chumps are g ever gonna listen. So, uh, you must be Tadakoro. Yes, I am. What can I help you with? I'd like to have a chat with you about this e or about this boy here. So, this is what you call a chat? Did your parents raise you to be people bloody whenever you wanted to talk? Yeah, pretty much. They taught me the rude ass of some bitches deserve whatever they c get coming for them. I see. I would ask you to please refrain from such behavior in the future. And it all depends on your attitude. So, uh, what exactly is it that brought you here today, sir? You know, this kid, yeah? I didn't recognize him through all the grime, but it's Adashi, the boy so fond of his sister. It's been six months. Have you raised the money? No. Then, uh, why are you here? I'll be selling that debt. From now on, you deal with me. What, do I actually have to pay him now? What are you? I don't believe he's any, he has any relatives in the country apart from his uncle. Uh, what's your relationship to the boy? We're perfect strangers. Is that gonna be a problem? On the contrary, I'm impressed that there aren't many people like you in this day and age. Good, no problems then. No, 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 no problems. However, one now. My agreement with Tadashi stipulated that he would get his sister back by either paying back the 5 million or doing jobs I assigned him. If we're going to be taking over his debt though, well, that's another story. Hmm. What do you mean? I want him to take the 5 million uh, from you in cash. No, I'll have you work it off. Either way works for me. Oh, so we're actually going to be working for him. I thought we are just going to beat him up. I do whatever gig you throw on me and you give back to Dashi's sister. Is that a deal? Huh? Oh, but it won't be just one job though. We'll continue taking assignments until you've earned back every last yen. And I'm telling you, that's fine by me. So quit beating around the bush and start giving me jobs. I can make some money. <laughs> Very well. I'll assign you more and more lucrative tasks. You do that. Well, thank you for stepping up to this. I'll contact you once I have a job lined up. Oh, I didn't catch your name, by the way. Name Suzuki. Suzuki-san, is it? Alright, then I look forward to working with you, Suzuki-san. The feeling ain't mutual, but I'll deliver. And in return, you better keep that promise you made to the dashi. Are you sure about this big guy? I'm pretty sure my job, or by job, he meant really bad stuff. It's alright. I'm used to uh, uh, being a pretty bad guy myself. I still am. Oh. Now, I want you to remember this, Tadashi. There's nothing bad in the world except earning your back on someone in need. My boss taught me that, and that's why I'm gonna help you. Thanks, big guy. Thank me when your sister and you are back together. Now, come on, let's head home. But I... You got no place to go, right? And then stay at my hideout. We got plenty of room for you. Okay, just let me get my stuff first. Go on ahead, big guy. I'll see you there. Well, alright. Come home before it gets too late now. Gold-plated dish. So is the sub-story finished? 
I guess it's finished for now. It's probably going to be like, uh, what's your name again? Tsuyubara from Akiyama's story, right? We got multiple sub stories for him. For this one, I guess for Saijin might see this one. For his, for the little brother looking for his sister, right? So we'll see. We'll see. Let's I'll continue and do more sub stories. Okay, Tadashi's here. Who's there? I have a message from Tadokoro. Alright, come in. So we're getting jobs now instantly. Okay, this is about work. Suzuki-san, have you ever heard of the Dragon Palace? Oh, the Dragon Palace. It's the gambling place, right? You mean the undersea castle in that old ass fairy tale? What of it? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Forget I said everything or anything. Now, hold up. You're screwing with me? Yeah. Now, Paris the Todd, it has to do with your assignment. I just wanted to make sure. Speaking of which, you'll be working as a bouncer at a certain facility. What kind? My apologies. It's touch it's a touch illegal, so that a core himself will give you the details once you get there. May I ask you to please proceed to the abandoned building on the hotel district aside of Park Boulevard. Okay. M E B red light district info kiosk. Now, I remember that place. We've been there multiple times. Get on sweated kid. You hold down the fort and keep an eye out on the place for me, will you? Okay. Be careful out there, big guy. But it's nice of the sub stories we're getting here. Because yeah, Saijima has a sister. So he basically he, he kinda can relate to the kid, right? Looks like I kept you waiting. Is this where the job's at? Ah, Suzuki-san, here you are at last. By the by, do you know about the Dragon Palace? Not that a horse or a horse it again. I swear you guys are trying to yank my chain. No, 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 Suzuki-san, of course not. It's not a place most people would even hear about. Allow me to please show you the Dragon Palace of Kamurocho. Please follow me. What is this place? During the redevelopment of the purgatory a few years ago, the local homeless people were driven out of their park. That's when they built in the New Haven. Ah, so this here is the their Dragon Palace. This floor holds a casino. There is also a gambling hall for more traditional games like Silo and Koi Koi. At first, it was a place where the homeless population could gather and gamble amongst themselves. But more and more people started showing up, uh, people with money. And after a while, it became a full-fledged casino. Definitely ain't a kid-friendly joint. So, uh, what's this gig about? And uh, you want me to count cards or something? Make a killing? Well, no, that's not a bad idea. But I'm afraid not. I believe my employee may already have informed you, but I'd like you to serve as the casino's bouncer. Bouncing? I suppose they get plenty of unsavory types here, right? What with all the money floating around. The manager will fill you in on the fine details, so right this way, please. Saijima the bouncer. This is Zukisa, and he'll be your bouncer today. Pleasure. The pleasure is all mine, sir. I oversee operations here at the casino, so thank you for accepting the position. The Dragon Palace was originally a kind of play spot for us homeless folk. But as word spread, people from all walks of life started showing up and we got more and more difficult patrons. They come up with ways to avoid paying what they owe when they lose a bit. Others have been caught cheating and grow aggressive, even hostile to our staff. Some people think they can get away with anything just because we're homeless. Okay, I get what you're saying. It seems like nowadays the civvies here in Kamurocho steer up even more trouble than the Yakuza. So, uh, where do I come in? If a guest is causing trouble, could you escort him out? That's about all is there to the job. Okay, so I just gotta take out the trash is what you're saying. More or less. Yes, thank you again. We even have our own outfit now. Hey, nobody said anything about a uniform. But it really suits you though. Clothes like this look especially good on a man with your physique. I don't know, man. Can shake the feeling that you're messing with me again. No, not at all. I am being quite honest here. Why, in another time, another place, you could pass for a Yakuza clan chairman. 
listen. But yeah, if, for example, uh, what do you call it? Saijima didn't go to jail. I probably not chairman, but he'll be probably like Majima, right? Okay, listen. Well, I have other work requiring my attention, so if you'll excuse me. Good luck, Suzuki-san. Good luck. You gotta watch out for that guy. Okay, hey, so what exactly you want me to do? Haven't, I haven't worked in a place like this before, so throw me a bone here. Okay, let's see. Can I have you or a deal at the roulette table? A roulette deal? That's way beyond me. We'll be fine. All you need to do is stay in one spot and act like you know what you're doing. The young woman there will run the actual game. So I stand there and what? Well, do you see that fellow over yonder? He's been coming a lot, a lot lately, but he's always making a scene. Oh, he has bouncers with him. He's not bouncers, but he has boys with him. Typically, he'll claim he was cheated and won't pay on his laws, or he'll stumble in drunk and start a brawl. Some of my employees have gotten hurt already. Okay, gotcha. You want me to keep an eye on this joker? Basically, yes. Please and thank you. How do you even play these games, by the way? So you just pick a number, and if it goes to red or black, you win. For example, you pick black. Black 20. So, it, Or does it need to be like black 20 exactly for you to win? Or it, does it just need to be like black? I don't know. I think I'll just bet on red. All set. No more bets, gentlemen. Red 14. Wow, I doubled my bet. This must be what they say call or what they call beginner's luck. Seriously? There's some kind of BS going on here. Sir, in roulette, bets are placed only after the ball is in play. Cheating simply isn't possible. You must be using a magnet or something to move the ball. Otherwise, how could I lose this much, huh? Yeah, that's right. I saw you fiddling with something under the table just as the ball stopped. Sir, if you're dissatisfied for some reason, how about you take it up with me? What the? Who do you think you are? You got a knife? <laughs> Jesus. Help, he's gonna kill me. They ran away. Thank you very much. For a moment there, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Sorry for the ruckus. Not at all. He drove home an important point. We should have fewer troublemakers in from now on. Or in here from now on. I hope so. Now, about your payment, I'll be forwarding it to the, to the Coruscant if that's alright with you. Yeah, no problem. We got an agreement, me and him. Very well then, that's what I'll do. And I said thank you for me personally. I set aside this casino chips for you. Please take some time to enjoy yourself on the house. 300 chips. Really? I appreciate that. Come again for a game or two whenever you'd like. We'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Thanks again for your hard work today. There he is. The guy. Not you again. You made an ass out of me in there. I'm not gonna let you just walk away after that. Come on, guys. Let's beat the shit out of this meathead. And after you, we'll take the casino for all it's worth and all the cash will be ours. You better believe it. After all, money's wasted on this homeless piece of trash. Enough of that. You think you can do anything you want because you're up against homeless folks? Then you won't have a big mouth, pal. Come on. Let's shut him up for good. Street punks. You got one smaller guy, one bigger guy, and then he's in the middle. Break his face. Yeah. 
we don't have a wall though. I wanted to try my essence that we got earlier from the revelations, but I can't like grab him to the wall right now. I'm gonna let you on a little secret. Gambling's a battle between gamblers and on the house. If there's something sketchy going on, the only loser is the one who didn't really realize it. So you admit they cheated me. This place is different though, I think. The fact they went out of their way to hire a bouncer like me to keep out punks like you proves they want to do business on the level. Either way, you guys were in the wrong. Can't handle losing in a game of chance, then get a new hobby. Next time, I ain't gonna go half e so easy on you. You hear me? Loud and clear, sir. Loud and clear. There. That'll learn. Guess this job well done. 5,000. Okay, let us continue and do more sub stories. Let's see if we can uh, continue this one with Tadakoro and Tadashi. I've been waiting for you. Another one. Tadakoro subordinate again. You again. What's the gig this time? <laughs> Let's cut to the chase, shall we? Your job is to act as a bodyguard now for a certain individual. Specifically, you're to escort said individual to a certain location. What's more, you are to deliver him there safe and sound. That it? You'll likely encounter a fair number of obstacles along the way, so it's up to you to decide how to handle them. Do you have any questions? For starters, this certain individual I'll be escorting, what kind of person are we talking here? Yeah. Okay, I'm terribly sorry, but that information is confidential. I do hope you understand. Shut up and do your job, you mean. You're free to decline if you wish. Putting your life on the line for a perfect stranger isn't exactly the smartest way to spend your free time. Smart or stupid has nothing to do with it. Any guy who goes back on a promise to save his own ass, that ain't a man at all. Mm -hmm. Then do you accept the assignment? Yes. Ooh. Very well then. Let's discuss the particulars. First, proceed to the parking space behind Millennium Tower. Then I'll introduce you to the client. Okay, let's go. Parking space. Okay, this guy. Who the hell is this? Are you ready? Are you sure I'm going to be safe with this guy? You can breathe easy. Of all our employees, I'd wager he's our very best. How can he lie with such a straight face like that? Very well then. Best of luck to you, sir. But allow me to repeat myself just in case. Your job is to hand over this gentleman safe and sound. If anything should happen to him, you'll take a com commensurate amount of blame. Are we clear, Suzuki-san? Yeah, I heard you first time. Excellent then, I bid you farewell. So where are we going then? I mean, we're gonna be his bodyguard, Bert. Up to where? Why me? Oh, here. So it's automatic, we're not gonna be walking around, okay? It's just like scenes. Fine, I'm just gonna beat this guys up then. We got a katana on him. Hit me. Oh, they're going. He's going to him. Like, he doesn't care about me. Look, he's not even trying to look at me. He's a cake. He saved me. Come on now. Don't just lie there. On your feet. Let's hustle. Now we're in Chichifuku parking lot and getting closer to the drop up spot. Almost there, pal. Buck up. Really? Just a little farther. I know I ain't supposed to ask, but what do you do anyway? Frankly, you don't look like a guy worth putting a head on. I can't tell you? I would invalidate my contract. Okay, the, the hitman is right there behind us. Look. Con what? Con artist? Contractor? Damn it, another one. But I thank God it's only like one guy. Alright, if there's like two or three guys, it would be extremely hard. I remember I did a sub story back then with 
Miracle Johnson. Oh, hell no. Like, he was Michael Jackson, basically. And then the zombies were coming closer, right? To attack him. It was hard because there were multiple people. You need to defend him. So this one is much more easier because only one guy, though. Look at this. Even though he has much higher health. Yeah, just beat him up like this and we're done. Are you still kicking? Yes, I'm still alive. You're a real survivor, you know that? Alright, let's hit the road. Okay, one more. Or are we here now? Honestly, the animations when the NPC walks like, it's like they're drunk or something. This here's the place. Now all I gotta do is hand you over. Oh, one. One dude again. I made it. I'm home free. Why is he? Why is he even drunk like this? Looks like he spoke a hair too soon. Oh no. Is he Hitman too? Hey, who told you about this place, huh? Not gonna talk then. I'll just take it as an invitation to kick your ass. Oh, you got a gun now. Look. Honestly, Saijima's style, fighting style, is like... Yeah, yeah, pretty much like Kiryu, basically. Like, Akiyama is like the rush style, right? On Yakuza 0 and Kiwami, the rush style. I thought maybe like Saijima, as he's a brute, right? He would be like a beast style. But yeah, he's, he's kind of like Kiryu. Yeah, the, the battle style. A little bit. I think much slower than Kiryu, but similar. Okay, that's that then. I guess I'm safe for real now. Okay, thanks for, thank you for a job well done. What the goddamn are you doing here? Where's the fellow who's supposed to take the schlub off my hands? Oh, don't worry about that. I got a call confirming both you gentlemen have completed your respective assignments. Gentlemen? That's correct, Suzuki-san. And you as well. Okay, what's going on here? I suppose I can tell you now. This man you worked so hard to protect didn't really need protecting. He's one of our debtors, just like the dashi -gun. While you two were stumbling about, the gentleman who actually required a bodyguard was safely delivered by one of our agents. Ah, oh, okay. So we were like the bait, I suppose. So we were just a couple of decoys? Yeah, decoys. This fellow agreed to act as a distraction in exchange for having his debts forgiven. Now he's debt free and we are able to complete our assignment without incident. It was a clever arrangement, you must admit. Is he telling the truth? Uh-huh. Son of a... Thank you again for your hard work. I'll apply your compensation toward your payment for the Dashikun's debts. I'll be in touch when your next assignment comes in. Well, what do we say? Don't say anything. Ridiculous, isn't it? All this time, the man you were risking your life to protect was just some loser up to his neck in debt. Sorry about that. But this was the only way I could turn my life around. I was fresh out of options. I apologize for what little uh, that's worth. I didn't, it didn't bother me. I, If I decide to protect somebody, it doesn't matter if he's a hotshot, brain surgeon, or a snot-nosed street punk. When I make a decision, I stick to it. Period. No excuses. That's what's important. Besides, I'm glad I got to be your bodyguard. You're gonna turn your life around. Keep your nose clean, then I'm happy to I could help. You have worked hard to get your life back. Now take a deep breath and get out of here. And live it. Thank you. I'm gonna straighten up and fly right up from here on out. I promise. I'm sure you have your own demons to face. Same as anybody. I'll be rooting for you. Much obliged. Mm. Akiko, Tadashi slipping. Or sleeping, I mean. He even talks about his big sis in his sleep. I must be a real worry. Yasuko was about his age when I bit the piss out of that relative of ours and we began living on our lonesome. 
I remember her muttering my name in her sleep, too. I have a message from Tadakoro again. We have a job for you, Suzuki-san. I wonder what's going to be the end for this. The end for this is, of course, going to be like Tadashi and Akiko reuniting, but let's see. Very well, allow me to explain. Your assignment will be to chase out the undesirables who are squatting in the building down Nakamichi Alley. That's it. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You need only to force them to vacate the premises. On the other hand, they number in the dozens, about 30. Do you still think it can be easy peasy? Eh, I'll figure something out. Oh, really? Against 30 odd some oh. assailants? Very well, then. Allow me to make an additional request. Spit it out, then. We would like you to apprehend their ringleader and hand him over to us. What for? It can't hurt to learn who's putting these punks up to it. Okay, so how much am I getting paid for this? Your payment will be 1 million yen. Nice. <laughs> it's a commensurate with the danger of the job entails. Although I doubt it'll pose any trouble at all for a man with your credentials. Enough with the BS. Where's this building at? Nakamichi Alley across the Orchid Palace Mahjong. I think we went there already though, right? I, I don't know. The Dashi is awake now. Are you really going to take the job, big guy? Hey there, Tadashi. I didn't know you were awake. The knocking woke me up. Good timing, then. Watch a place for me, will you? I'm coming too. No way. This is a job. This is too dangerous, man. I need to protect you if you come here. But I can't sit around doing nothing while you're out doing all these dangerous things for me. Frankly, kid, if you came with me, you just get in the way. True. <laughs> Just relax and think about seeing your sis again, all right? All right, big guy. I'll be back real quick. Okay, building near Orchid Palace Majo in Nakamichi Alley. What do you want? I'm here to take out the trash. Now get out of here on the double. Wait, when does it leave? We're gonna need a going away present then. Shut up. My fist in your face is all you freeloaders deserve. But I think we went here. Did we went here already though? Maybe it's in another game, but I think we already went here. We're gonna go up, right? Yeah, I do remember there's something in front of the Orchid Palace mod though. But I don't I don't remember if it's in Akiyama's story or maybe in Yakuza uh the other Yakuza game. Well, we played a lot, man, and yeah, the plays are very similar. A lot of dudes. What's your problem, you crazy old bastard? Alright, is there a boss inside here somewhere? Let's take out the boss. More of them. They said 30 guys, right? We fought like 5, 4 guys earlier? Uh. Another dimwit who ain't got manners for dog. I'm high, I say. I look after this place. Uh -huh. And we ain't going anywhere. You want us to leave? You're gonna have to force us out. Hi, you say. Street punks. I want to throw him off the roof, though. Okay, let me let me try to throw him up. Come on, I say I'll throw you off here. Run that. Yagi. Mogi. Oh, there's more guys. Yeah. 
But it's nice, for example. Oh, there are more of them. What, what? Would you like uh, for these games to be remastered? But yeah, it's already not a remastered remake like Kiwami. I mean, it's already good. I think um, this the third game though. If they made it a Kiwami, yeah, with the Rio the family, you know, I mean, it's gonna be very good though. I think. But for this one, I think yeah, it's kind of okay already though. It it feels like Yakuza Zero already. Come on, man! Stop hugging me! Okay, this dude, man, I'm gonna throw this guy off. But yeah, I'd rather them make... It would be nice, is what I'm saying, if they make remakes for the games. Or, yeah, remakes, basically. But I would rather uh, have them just make more games. Right? Yeah, put their time on more uh, other ones. Maybe spin-offs, more spin-offs. Or, yeah, in general, or any other, just continue the story. But yeah, we, like most games we're releasing right now, are just full remakes, right? But yeah, the remakes are pretty good. That's the thing. Oh, you have to make uh, more work for me? God damn it. You're coming with me, sir. We got him. Okay, this man is a ringleader, I presume. Yep. Signed, sealed, and delivered, as promised. Okay, sir, I'll escort our friend here back to the office. Fine. I'll be right there. Congratulations on a job well done. A job like that ain't hardly a job at all. Perhaps it's none of my business, but if you and Tadashi are perfect strangers, why go to such lengths for him? Because he can relate to Tadashi, man. I wouldn't expect you to understand, but I made a promise to Tadashi man to man, and that's a reason enough for me. Is that so? No, I can't say I do understand. Alright then, fine. I can't see any further talk on the subject would be a waste of time and for my time and yours. And don't forget what you promised the kid, okay? I wouldn't dream of it. And next time, find me a better paying gig. I certainly do my best. Oh, by the way, our mutual friend Hayase had this on him. You may have it as a nice little bonus. I have the dragon. Yeah, I have the dragon, good. Is it the equipment? Let me see. Items. Hmm, we need to sell these. Okay. Okay, let's find some revelations before we end. Okay, this one. Drunk guy. あ、女性が迷惑してるではないかい。うん。なるほど。そうそれ。さすがにな、さい。何やと?言っても分からないようだね。うん。でわ。かかってきなさい。てめえ。His necktie is gonna get caught there. Ah. Oh no, his neck. <laughs> I thought it would. I thought it was still close by his neck. Okay, the momentum helped him big. A land hit, brave man. Oh, no, 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 this one. I like that side gym as just a log there, right? Oh, it's different. Actually, different. Look at this. Nice. Broke his back. Ooh. How do you even do this, though? They don't give us instructions how to do this, honestly. Like, I'm checking the... Like, some settings or abilities or something. 
there's no guide on how to do this. Alright, let's check out more. Okay, I guess this one. This is the same place where we saw Akiyama, right? Akiyama found this, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, is it gonna be the same? Exactly the same. Oh, it's the same one. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess essence is basically the guard breaking, right? She kicked a, a kick clean through his guard. Kilometer. Okay, we have this one now. How is he gonna escape this? I mean, it's very heavy, of course. It's full of cement. <laughs> They're gonna fall instead. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Superman. Oh, knocked him out. Wait, that was it? Okay. I thought it was going to escape. Like, uh, that thing or the barrel is going to hit it and it's going to get destroyed. Kilometer! That is very basic though. Heavy weapons. Heavy weapon sculpture. Essence of heavy weapons. Okay. I mean that's it. Okay, so yes, we will end our episode there. So the what do you call this? Um the sub stories of Saijima, basically, at least the ones we did, is basically he couldn't exit him. It's nice because it's uh, is helping a teacher or not teacher, uh, a kid, and her and his sister, right? His sister he hasn't seen yet. He's working hard, or yeah, you know, when he gets a lot of money, so she can pay for the debt, right? So she he can get her sister back. The Dashi and Akiko, basically it relates to him with him and. Lily Chan, right? So he, he like he relates to it. That's why he's helping the kid out there. And we're getting all of this odd jobs. So maybe we'll see if we unlock more. But next episode we'll just continue the main story for now. And uh, yeah, just like with Shiyubara san. 
with Akiyama's side, right? We'll finish this up. I want to see the ending for this one, the conclusion, right? If, what, what, if we're going to see Akiko or, yeah, what just happens, basically. But uh, let's see. Let's see. So anyways, uh, we're going to continue this. Next episode, we'll finish up uh, the third chapter, right? So we have third chapter already. Oh, yeah, because the last chapter with Kiri was very short, right? The chapter 2 one. It was like 30, 20, 20 minutes, like 20, 30 minutes. It was very short. So next episode, we need to find the florist. So I'll try to find him. So anyways, we're going to continue this and do more of Yakuza 4 in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.